Good afternoon, I'm Pallavi Ghosh. We begin with some news coming in from Karnataka, which is now once again under the sky. The Drip Irrigation Distributors Association has written a letter to a Prime Minister against a horticulture minister, Muniratna Naidu, for allegedly demanding 8.5% commission to release a subsidiary funds to the farmers. The association has alleged that the drip irrigation companies deduct 8.5% commission from the dealers to pay to the minister. Association is now demanding a judicial investigation. Ritu is going to be joining us uh, live on this story. So Ritu, okay, I'm going to try and go across to Ritu in a bit, but this is going to be a huge embarrassment, especially with elections not too far away. But clearly the horticulture minister is under fire. The letter has gone to the prime minister's office it remains to be seen whether any action is going to be taken against a horticulture minister by either the state government the chief minister or the prime minister's office himself but before we get some more details on it a quick recap of what the issue is all about and that is because the drip irrigation distributors association has alleged that the horticulture minister has demanded 8.5 percent as a commission to release any funds to the farmers. Association also alleged that the drip irrigation companies deduct 8.5% of this commission from the dealers to pay to the minister. Association is now demanding that a judicial investigation takes place. This will be one huge corruption charge against a sitting minister of the Bommai government and therefore the opposition which is there, which is the Congress party, would want to raise this up as an issue uh, uh, against the BJP. Ritu is now with us. So, Ritu, how serious would you say these allegations are? Are you picking up anything by way of your sources where the Chief Minister is aware of these allegations and does the Chief Minister plan to do something about it? See, seems like the Chief Minister Basuraj Bhumma is not aware about it, though the association in fact says that they have also written a letter one month back to the CM, but they sought no uh, action that was being taken from the uh, CM himself. So that's the reason they have written another letter now to directly to the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, thinking that this will at least get them some kind of a justice, writing a letter to the Prime Minister directly. But this is not for the first time that we're getting to see something like this in the Karnataka, but previously as well when we saw the allegations against uh, K.S. Ishwar Appa, the, the former minister, in fact, uh, uh, there were uh, allegations against him about the 40% commission charges from the contractors. Uh, so that time, too, we saw how the Contractors Association wrote letter to Prime Minister Narendra Modi as they also lost hope in the, in the uh, BJP government here in the Karnataka and they had to write directly to PM, but uh, thinking that that will at least get them some justice because this has become, in a way, uh, a continuous practice of uh, the ministers as what the kind of allegations we got to uh, hear from these associations but now this is the another allegation that has been made against the horticulture minister Muniratna where they are saying that 8.5 percent commission in fact has been asked from the uh, dealers of, of from the companies, in fact, the irrigation companies cut 8.5% of commission from the dealers for the subsidiaries that is given to the farmers. So this is another serious allegation that we're getting to hear in the Karnataka. But we'll have to look and see now. We'll have to wait and see, in fact, that what the uh, CM is going to tell on this particular uh, thing. Also, we'll also, again, the other thing that uh, we'll have to wait for is like whether Prime Minister's uh, office will write back to this particular association. Because remember, previously as well, when the Contractors Association wrote letter to PM, they some, they somewhere uh, sort of uh, a, a word back from the Home Ministry office, but this time what exactly will happen is something that we'll have to wait and see. Uh, okay. So, uh, so, so, you know, obviously the opposition is going to be waiting in the wings because they've always claimed that whether it was Yadrupa earlier, whether it's the Bombay government now, corruption hasn't really end. Don't you think then the pressure is going to mount on the BJP in the state you know, ahead of the elections to ensure that at least this image correction takes place? Yes, the opposition is already up in hands uh, from the time that the 40% allegations were being made against the uh, government here in the state. But this time too, now that uh, they are of course going to raise this particular issue as well. Now remember you have seen whether it is about the 40% commission charges or whether it is about the PSI scam. The opposition is uh, in fact up in arms about all this and have always stated uh, uh, time and again about the uh, corruption that is taking place in this particular government. So this is going to be yet another uh, serious issue 
issue that uh, you know, opposition will raise uh, uh, in a short time that uh, we'll have to see of what kind of uh, uh, another set of decision that the opposition will make because we saw how many rallies the protests were in fact being made uh, and the pressure that was being mounted on the BGP government to sack the pro former minister K.S. Ishwarappa as well. But in fact that the investigation is on now what exactly the kind of step the government will take in this uh, issue is something that has to be seen now. Okay, thank you very much, Vivi, for putting us into perspective. So that pressure is going to mount, and let's see whether any action is going to be taken. But we're going to shift.